Hey, what up, fellas? It is freaking time, man. Winter is gone and dead. Our water's warmed up. That means it's time to go for those giant fish. We've got the big rod set up and ready to go. We're going in with the pin, Slammer 3, one of my favorite reels of, of all time. And we got that on the Daiwa Coastal SP Surf 10 foot rod. 40 pound J braid on there with a 100 pound monofilament leader at the end of it. You know what we gotta do before the first trip of the season? We gotta test our knots. That should hold, that should do her. It's gonna be an interesting trip too. I'm driving my buddy's truck. My truck, unfortunately, it's back in the shop for the third time in about a year. So I'm gonna have to shamelessly plug my Patreon. If you wanna help me out, go check out my Patreon. I, I appreciate it. If you sign up for it, there are a few rewards, but remember, it ain't, it's not worth your money. But all will be well, as long as there's fish out there, there's gonna be fish for sure. Sun is coming up and we're already busting out the gulps right away. Let's see if there's anything in here. Man, this feels like an awfully soft gulp. But as long as there's no piggy perch, we'll be alright. Way down the beach, I'm seeing it looks like a hundred plus pelicans diving. And I'm guessing whatever it is is heading this way. And it's probably gonna get here in an hour or so. I'm not sure if we're gonna be staying here for an hour though. We might be switching to some bigger fish. So I'm gonna flip it on right there, let's give it a cast. Whatever it is, it ain't too big. It, it, you know what it probably is? It's uh, Manhaden or Shad of some kind getting flicked up. Did we catch something? I think we caught the bait. Well, we'll get to see what the bait is. And just as we thought, it's one of those Manhaden. Interesting. Those shad, one of them Shads. Shoot, keep him for bait unless we drop him. <laughs> wasn't really gonna keep them for bait but it would be decent bait for sure they definitely use those for redfish a lot even inshore so that's telling us something we got big probably big old schools of menhaden running up and down so this, i mean eventually there's gonna be something that's chasing them well you guys saw that little shed and this is not the worst thing to imitate it especially when it's floating down there let's push this guy back in the water especially when it's floating down they might think it's a dead one. Uh, did we get another one? Oh my gosh, dude, there's so many boys. I'm like trying not to snag them. I'm trying not to snag them and I'm still snagging them. Well, we know that the freaking bait is here, man. I, down closer towards the surf, we saw some smaller bait and then come down here, it's just lines of manhaden. There's, it could be, I don't know, man. It could be something good. Or it could be a case of too much bait. Boys, we finally hooked up, man. I've been fighting this guy for a minute or two. I'm throwing the two ounce spoon instead of the three ouncer that I had on. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish, dude. That's a nice red right there. And we hooked up on this nice red. I think it's a perfect imitation of those shad. Because we're hooking up on some of those so many of those little shads. I'm telling you, they're like biting my hooks. And this 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 spoon falling down a little bit slower, a lot slower than three ounce is gonna look like one of those dying shads coming down from the school. Oh dude, that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's go! That's a nice one. Bang, dude, how about that freaking fat boy right there? I, I knew something. I knew something nice freaking took our line where we had that little manhaden on the line. Dang, that's, that's way bigger than I even thought it was gonna be. Let's get him back in the water. But dude, that's a freaking big one. Oh my God. Finally back to catching some giants after the winter. And I'm in for it. That's a good one. Don't crush my hand up, bud. You know you got a decent sized fish when you can just reach your whole hand in there. Oh. 
swim, bud. There he goes. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Sick. Yeah, he's freaking floating. And he took my uh, fish grips, too. Well, this morning I was I was considering if I should wear shorts or just wear my pants. And I'm wishing I would have worn the shorts over under the pants because these are some fleece pants and they are just waterlogged now. But the good thing is it looks like that fish stayed down. Here's the lure that we got that guy on. It's supposed to be a two ounce lure, but compare this to this, the three ouncer that we were using. I, I love the three ouncer, man. It's really good for jacks, for casting super far out there and for reds too. But this 1.5 to 2 ounce, I think, is it's just way better when it's a little bit shallower water. I think we're throwing to 10 to 15 feet, and 10 to 15 feet with this guy, it just I think it just sinks way too fast. This is gonna look a lot more natural, just like those men Hayden we were snagging. Oh, there you go. Damn, that might be big. It's a big guy. What are you What are you throwing? Nice. That's what I got. That's big. That is big. Jeez, that's, yeah. that's bigger than the one I caught for sure. You've been out here for a while? Uh, since morning. Here you go. You want a picture or something? Yeah. Jeez, that's freaking big, dude. dude. There's so many boats, dude. Like, there's nowhere to fish. I had to retie, and then a boat popped up right in front of me. So, these guys are catching fish over here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna join in, dude, before the boats swarm in. <laughs> we still got a boat in front of us, but. Ooh. We're just gonna thread the needle, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't even know you were on there, bud. Just leave me alone. Anywhere I go, dude. This is how much bait there is right now. Anywhere I go, we're hooking up on the Haydens. That's a fish. That's a fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go, dude. Everyone's been catching fish. Everyone's been, oh my, oh my God. Holy cow. Everyone's been catching fish. I've just been watching them. Now we finally hook up. And I think it's a good one, dude. Now I might make the play here. I might have to do the play. God, dude, that was a crazy run. Pretty sure we got a redfish here. I mean, dude, it's insane, dude. The whole jetty is just lined up with manhaden. And those manhaden are chasing little tiny minnows. And then there's freaking bull reds going after them. And maybe even some jacks mixed in. It's kind of freaking crazy. And it's kind of crazy how we haven't hooked up more. But there's just so much bait. It's insane. Now this guy, he's going right next to the rocks, which you gotta love. If he goes back out, I'll be happy. I've never lost a fish in my life, never will. This might be a big big guy. Oh my gosh. That's where you wear the cleats.
God dang, dude. Oh, he's digging right next to the rocks. This might be the biggest gaff top of all time because he's fighting like one, dude. Just straight stand down. It's a freaking jack. No way. Let's go. No wonder it's not fighting like a red, dude. That's a big freaking jack. Holy cow. That's a big jack. God dang. Get out of there, bud. Dude, I should have known from the beginning the way he's fighting. Ha! I was th I was th here thinking it was a freaking red the whole time. Dang, it's a it's a it's a nice one too. Whew, now we gotta figure out how to get this guy. I got my phone. Listen, I almost just went into the water with my phone in my pocket, and I just lost the phone to the jetty. So we're not gonna do that again. Out, out of the rock, bud. Oh, dude, that's a freaking fish. He might even be barely hooked. Bang, dude, oh my God, look at that freaking beast. Holy cow. Dude, that's a big one, boys. Oh, man. Look at that freaking sea monster, dude. Oh my God. Whew. Let's try not to fall and die. Dude, that's freaking huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I just haven't seen a big fish in a while, but this guy looks freaking massive. Sick, dude. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was on my way out because we had to get out of here. I was just walking down the jetties. I see a few people hook up. And just like, oh my god, that's big, dude. That's a freaking big guy. He chomped up the three ounce spoon, and man, we're not even deep at all. We're front less than 10 feet now, and he still ate it up. Well, unfortunately, this guy did not want to go back, man. The I took way too long getting the hook out of his mouth. If it was a bull red, I would have been pissed at myself, but I'll tell you what. We do need some shark bait, and that is a lot of shark bait, so I'm definitely not too upset about it. Had to absolutely mutilate my hook trying to get it out of his mouth, which is my fault. I brought the wrong pliers too. All right, check it out. We got that guy in the outdoor freezer. We actually had to get his tail. I mean, the, the tail tail is a tail, right? We had to get this off even to fit him in there. Dude, look how, look how massive that guy is. We even got some shrimps left over too. So having bait means we're definitely going on some shark and some surf fishing trips this year for sure. One thing I want to mention real quick is uh, when you're jetty fishing, especially for these big fish, you have to be, keep in mind, you have to keep in mind that you want to get these fish back safe. If you fish the jetties a lot, you'll, you'll definitely see some tragic and uh, pretty sad things happening out there. People just not caring at all, even about some really big fish and then wondering why they don't make it. Even, even today, man, I could have done a better job myself. But hey, I love you guys very much. Check out my Patreon if you want to help me out and we'll see you guys next time.